because it was important that we save our education system. I appointed a 42-person um, task force made of education professionals, people who had run schools and universities and colleges, people who had experience. And they took almost eight months. And I tasked them with sorting out the issues in our education sector. These great professionals, and I have every reason to believe they did a good job. They came up with recommendations on what to do with CBC, recommendations that we have implemented, and to a great extent, we now have an aligned competence-based education system. They also recommended what I needed to do in terms of pupil-teacher ratio. And it's the reason why I have hired 56,000 new teachers in the last two years, the largest in the history of Kenya. And it is also the reason why we are implementing the student-centered funding model that is aimed at sorting out the challenges that are in our universities. We are one year in. Last year, we admitted students using this model. And what this model has done is that we have taken the amount that we are funding our universities from an average of 45 billion shillings every year to 82 billion shillings every year. That is the quantum of additional resources we are making available both for help, for scholarships that go to our universities. The biggest challenge that universities had was that they had inadequate funds because we promised or government promised that they would sponsor students, both loan and scholarship up to 80%, but they didn't meet their end of the bargain. And we ended up with a big crisis. As I have told you, we ended up with debts of close to 100 and 80 billion shillings owed to our universities. As a result, universities could not teach the courses that they were offering to our students, and we ran the real risk of lowering the quality of our education. And as I have told you, you know what kind of a risk that poses to our nation. The new student-centered 